Okay, so uh, lead code practice time. So in this video, there are two goals. The first goal is to see how we are going to solve this problem. And the second goal is to see how we should behave in a real interview. So let's get started. So remember the first step in the real interview is always try to understand the problem. If there is anything unclear, please bring up the question. And uh, at the same time, think about some edge cases. So let's take a look at the question. Divide two integers. Given two integers dividend and divisor, divide two integers without using the uh, multiplication, division, and mod operator. So return the quotient after dividing dividend by divisor. So the integer divisor should truncate towards zeros, which means losing its fractional part. For example, 8.345 is truncated to 8, and the minus 2.7335 is truncated to minus 2. Alright, so assume that we are dealing with an environment that could only store integers within the 32 bits, so assign the integer range of minus the minimum integer to the maximum integer. So for this, exam for this problem, uh, assuming that your function returns uh, the max value of the integer, when division result overflows. So there are some constraints here, which says the divisor is not going to be zero, so we don't need to worry about this edge case. And also uh, the divisor and dividend are within the range of int 32 bits of integer. All right, so let's see. Um, for example, 10 divided by three, uh, then it is going to output three. Okay, so I think it makes sense. Um, we are mostly in good shape about this problem, understanding it. Uh, let's see how to solve this problem. So the way uh, I think we should solve this problem is about mimicking the step we do uh, division. But but th since there is any limit, there is some limitation. We cannot use manipulation, uh, and then I think. Um, we could use some bit manipulation actually. So bit manipulation, uh, remember the computer, so computer science is built on top of um, a bits, which is two bits. But in the real world, uh, we usually use 10 bits uh, to do the calculation. So if you just use the ma bit manipulation to, to uh, instead of the division or multiplication, I think we should be good. Okay, so how to solve this problem? So I would say uh, we can do it in the recursive way. The way we do it is first in each recurse, so in each uh, recursive function call, we are going to compute the highest bit. So in each uh, recursive function call, we compute the uh, highest bit. And then, um, up, so for example, for one function call, we compute the highest bit. We just uh, remove the highest bit from the dividend, and then we keep calling the divide dividend, then the minus the highest bit, and we call the divisor. So it will be something like this. Because we are using the bit manipulation to compute the highest bit in each of the recursive function call, uh, we are going to have the runtime to be log uh, dividend finally. So um, having said that, uh, let's do some coding work. So in this, uh, in this question, there are quite some uh, ash cases we need to consider because uh, the result could overflow. So that's why there are quite some edge cases. So the first edge case is um, if integer, so if the divisor is equal to integer dot mean value and um, the dividend, uh, so, sorry, it should be the dividend, dividend, is equal to this, and the divisor is equal to, uh, let's say if it is equal to minus one, then of course it's going to overflow. So we are going to return uh, integer 
dot uh, max uh, value. So also if it is just dividend, if the dividend is the integer mean value, you can also just uh, uh, treat as a special case, but actually it could be uh, covered by our general algorithm, I think. If the divisor is equal to one, we just return uh, the integer dot mean value. All right, so other than that, uh, it is about the body of our, um, the body of our um, general uh, algorithm. So first of all, we need to keep track of the same law. So, so if both the dividend and divisor are positive or negative, then we have uh, a positive uh, number to be returned. Otherwise, it is negative. So we are going to say if dividend is larger than zero and the divisor is larger than zero, or both of them are negative integers smaller than zero or and uh, divisor is smaller than zero all right so this is a symbol and then now we need to turn both the dividend and divisor into uh, negative uh, into negative values or positive values so the, the reason we choose to turn everything the dividend and divisor into negative value is a bit is because uh, the range for negative integers for signed int is uh, has a has a bigger range than the positive positive integers so I would say if um, the divisor dividend sorry the dividend if it's smaller than zero then we are going to have dividend as equal to minus dividend and similarly we are going to do it for the divisor smaller than zero then divisor is equal to the minus divisor so uh, So since this is a recursive function, uh, we will need to define the general asset for this recursive function. So if the dividend is larger than the divisor, then we are just going to uh, return zero, which is the asset uh, of this uh, function. Other than that, we will need to compute the highest bit or uh, you just to compute the result. Let's say uh, results as equal to, uh, so the result as equal to one. And uh, so the results currently represent the high speed we are trying to uh, compute. So you also have the time divisor initiated as a divisor. So well, the temp the the dividend is smaller than the temp divisor. What we do is um, first of all we would say uh, so actually it should be like this. It is something like if the dividend is smaller than twice of the time divisor, then we could simply uh, multiply two on top of the result, which is a high speed we are currently computing. And also we are going to uh, do the, just the multiply uh, the time divisor by two. So there is one, uh, there is one edge case here. When the time divisor, is actually smaller than uh, the integer domain value uh, uh, divided by two, then there is then we just need to break this uh, this loop because if the time divisor is uh, smaller than uh, half of the integer main value, 
then actually uh, when we try to move when we try to multiply it by two again then it is going to have some overflow issue so having said that we have already computed the highest bit which is we cut in the results the next time we just need to compute the rest of it we are going to call divide uh, dividend dividend uh, this should be this should be uh, because dividend it should be plus results and then the divisor divisor visor okay so the result is uh, so it's it's not result it's just the, the time divisor so the time divisor is the same we re, we, uh, we removed from the dividends so time divisor is actually negative so we should have this as minus all right so after that uh, we will say okay if it is symbol uh, we just need to uh, return the result otherwise we return the minus result so that's pretty much it about the code and the next part we need to do some testing so there are quite some things we need to catch up here so for example i listed this one okay so we get a wrong answer let's see why so the dividend integer okay so dividend is larger than zero divisor less than zero. so same hole is good and dividend if it is small if it is larger than zero then we have it if it is larger than zero we have it as an active value all right so fixing that typo we are good with this task case let's try another one let's see this one it should be in good shape as well and then let's say we have some general case uh, listed in the examples let's see this one we have 0 10 all right so i think mostly we are good let's do a submission yep so it's accepted so as you can see i have quite some time limit exceeded or runs or submission let me tell you why uh, and the next time when you do the code you may need to care about uh, a couple of a couple places that can uh that, that can fill this piece of code so the first thing i encounter is um I tr first the, the first word that I choose to use is I try to turn the dividend and divisor uh, into the absolute value which is a positive value uh, so that is going to that is not going to work that is because uh, we have a, a larger range for the negative integers than the positive integers so I would suggest you to use a negative integer to uh, do the division and the next thing is um, I didn't care about this this part which is uh, if the divisor is already half of the range of the negative value or the positive value uh, then we should break otherwise uh, the time divisor can also overflow itself so those are the two places you may need to take care uh, when you do the coding on top of this question so that's it for uh, this question and about the solution if you have any question about uh, the solution or about the puzzle feel free to leave some comments below if you like this video please give me a thumb up and uh, i'll see you next time thanks for watching